Welcome to lesson five, hypnotic trance inductions, uh, part B, actually hypnotizing people. Okay, before we cover uh, a couple of actual induction processes, let me first reveal to you Alman's biggest secret. Alman being Dave Alman, who wrote a book on hypnotherapy called Hypnotherapy, which you can find on Amazon. But you don't need to buy it because the key secret in it is this, the Alman eye closure. And the idea of this is it's convincing to people that they, um, when you suggest things to them and they visualize them in their mind, that they genuinely become reality. And once they truly believe that you say things, they visualize them and then they become reality, they then enter a state of mind where their critical faculty analytical area closes down, stops resisting, stops analyzing, and it allows anything you suggest or command them to do to go directly to their unconscious subconscious mind, arguably their personal laptop computer, to reprogram those files for whatever outcome they desire. So with this, what you do is you tell the person to close their eyes down, and I do this after I've done the eyes following the thumb test. Close your eyes down and you get them to do so, and you tell them to imagine looking up as low, this eyeball is going up and looking at the top of a kind of a pyramid, and this eyeball's looking up towards the top of a, like a little pyramid. And where the top of that pyramid is, just about here at the top of the forehead, it's like almost as if there is a little hole in their head, but in a way that feels calm, safe, and secure for them. And the reason we say in a way that feels calm, safe and secure for them is so that they don't get scared by the idea of visualising a little hole in the head. Um, and the reason we say it's almost as if, and I use that phrase a lot in sessions, is because if we say it's almost as if, and then give somebody a suggestion, if they don't see it in glorious technical or it doesn't matter, if they hear it, think it, slightly sense it, or whatever happens for them, it can, in their minds be rationalized as it was almost as if it was like that so you're never wrong it's always right there's always a successful outcome um so yeah eyes closed looking up to the top of the pyramid looking up to the top of the pyramid and you place your finger on top of their forehead and you say keep staring at the tip of my finger where you can feel it where it's like it's the top of the pyramid almost as if there's a little hole in the top of uh, your head where there's a white bright light coming in keep looking up with your eyeballs at that I'm going to count backwards from three to one on the count of one if you concentrate as I'm sure you will you'll find that your eyelids are sealed locked glued welded cemented bolted in place and you'll find it impossible to open them uh, until I tell you otherwise um, which I will do in a few moments time nod your head if you understand the moment they nod their heads, they're saying they understand what you've said and what they've got to do, but they're kind of also saying that, yes, this will work because you've already brought them down the garden path of belief by this point. We then count backwards from three down to one, saying on three, it's almost as if your eyelids are being locked, glued, welded, cemented together, almost as if all the tiny little muscles around your eyelids and your eyes um, are being switched off. As on two, imagine yourself in a control room in your mind's eye and see all the switches, dials, buttons and levers. And you don't know how you know, but you know exactly which one of those buttons you need to push or levers you need to pull or switches you need to switch off in order to turn off all the power and all the energy to all the little muscle groups around your eyelids and your eyes so that in a few months time you know that your eyes will be locked, glued, welded, cemented together. And on one, now just take a few moments to prove to yourself that you've done it to correctly, to prove to yourself you've turned off all the energy and just prove to yourself you've done this right and try to open your eyes. And then they will try and find that they can't open their eyes. You'll see their eyes moving for a little bit and then you say, that's excellent. Stop trying. Just take a nice deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth and relax your heavy head fall forward onto your chest and you can push the head forward onto the chest if you need to. And then you will go into the progressive relaxation induction that we will come to in a few moments time uh, to take them into hypnosis. Um, although arguably they are hypnotized at that point if they believe they are because all hypnosis is just a state of belief there's a couple of things going on here there's the almond eye closure technique of getting them to imagine switching off the switch or turning down the dial or pulling the lever or pressing the button that turns off all the energy to all the little muscles around their eyelids but there's also the fact that if somebody looks as their eyes closed and looks up at the top of the forehead like they're looking up at the top of a pyramid, they keep looking up there with their eyeballs, it becomes physically impossible to open their eyelids. 
but they don't know this. So they come to attribute the fact that they're unable to do it to the fact that you said things, they imagined them, they become reality. And the more they believe that, the more they're likely to believe that the suggestions you give them during the therapeutic treatment part of the session will become reality then they will for them because it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy for the reasons we've already mentioned in earlier lessons and are mentioned in the PDFs accompanying these download materials. So also there is what I call my almond's biggest secret, the fact that at the end I say to them, okay, in a moment just prove to yourself you've done this correctly. In other words, if they end up opening in their eyes, what they do is prove to themselves they've not done it correctly, which means they're to blame, not you. So you can never fail. And if they did do that, then you'd go through it again and say, go on, this time, prove to yourself you've done it correctly. And sure enough, they wouldn't want to fail and feel bad again. So it will work. But combined with the physical fact that looking up with their eyeballs to the top of the pyramid makes it physically impossible, heightens your success rate again. Also, there's the fact that when we say try to open your eyes, that this is MLQA's law of reversed effort, what resist persist. It's the idea that the word try, like Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. Yoda from Star Wars says it. Um, the word try implies that they will not be able to do it. Otherwise, why would you say try? Um, so all of those things combined mean that they have an experience that they come to believe that that experience was. You suggested things to them, they visualised them, and it became their reality. And the moment they believe that, their critical faculty, analytical area of the mind is shut down, and you are then talking directly to their unconscious, subconscious mind, and can reprogram their personal net top computer. You could start doing it there and then and it would be successful if they believe it would but because they paid for an hour of your time generally um, and people are used to paying for hours of people time or part of an hour like they pay a high fee to see solicitors, barristers, uh, travel, uh, estate agents and other professionals who charge a high fee per hour. So by giving them an hour it seems credible and it makes them feel cared and loved for, loved, wanted, and it goes back into all those self-worth things early. You might also want to look into Maslow's hierarchy of human needs because we're fulfilling them by making them the centre of attention uh, and taking time for themselves. But we're going to deepen this by using a progressive relaxation induction, which in a nutshell is because their eyes are already closed, if we get them to put the heavy head onto the chest, if need be, we can go up and gently tip it forward and we then use the phrase such as just so long as you keep your eyes tightly closed at all times then everything I suggest to you from this moment forward will prove to be one million percent successful for you. This is a nice way of saying don't open your eyes but it's in a way that creates a state of mind where it seems like you are genuinely hypnotizing them. So just so long as you keep your eyes tightly closed at all times, unless I say otherwise, then our work here today together will continue to be one million percent successful for you. You then do the progressive relaxation induction, Jacobson's relaxation induction, uh, which effectively is to get them to tense the muscles of their feet together, Hold them for a few seconds, then relax them. Then do the same with the lower leg area, upper leg area, hips, lower chest, upper chest, back, their arms from their shoulders to their elbows, elbows to the wrist to the fingertips and all the muscles around the face and then the forehead, tense it up and then release it. It's fully explained in the PDF that... Um, Fast Track PDF Guide and also in the Complete Mind Therapy Complete Script with Induction that accompanies these videos and downloads. That's the exact wording you can use and learn from. And then uh, we'll cover this more, slightly more in further videos, but that's the essence of it. And once they are hypnotised, which they will be by the end of following that Jacobson's Progressive Relaxation uh, Script, then the next step would be the, to deepen the trance, which we will cover in the next lesson. Because in a nutshell, a therapy session runs uh, with seven stages, which are get rapport, induce the trance, deepen the trance, do ego strengthening therapy, do the necessary therapy specific to their issue, implant the major post-hypnotic suggestion, then awaken them at the end of the session. We'll cover all those bits in uh, lessons as we continue. See you shortly. Bye for now.